Hey there, Josie here. Welcome to the Yoga Local Podcast. Today, I wanted to have a heart to heart about um, fear. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to go first. So uh, before I uh, start to get you to think about what it is that um, brings up feelings of fear for you, I just thought I would share mine. Um, a lot of what I fear is um, all kind of caught up in regret. Um, the idea of um, not living my life fully, completely, um, and getting to the end of life and um, and wishing that um, I had done something um, that I was maybe scared to do at the time. So, yeah, and for me, um, for me, it's all about experiences. I think this is really linked to my my dharma and my purpose. Um, um, in fact, I kn I know it is because I've done a lot of study myself. But experience is like the fuel for my soul, and I think when I'm not having experiences, um, there is a sense of being unfulfilled. Now, <laughs> um, that can be sometimes interpreted and has been interpreted in my life as um, not being content and not being um, satisfied. And that sometimes um, comes across as a negative, um, a negative um, opinion on what it is that I'm looking to achieve or go for. Um, and for sure, it can like really put the brakes on um, on my dreams, on my on my goals, on the things that I want to experience, right? Um, but um, I think that is, on reflection, um, me just playing into other people's fears. For sure, some of these fears I have myself, right? But when someone else kind of gives you a reason for maybe not pursuing um, your dreams and your goals and pursuing those things that light you up from the inside, then um, suddenly you can start to backpedal, um, procrastinate, and maybe even just, just give up. So like, yeah, just think about those things that um, that kind of come up as 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 barriers, the the other people's fears starting to play out. So, like if you're moving into something new, like if you're if you're driving change, if you're looking to reach new heights of what's possible, um, then that can bring out uh, fear and doubt, not in just you but in other people. So, that's like you know fear of. Um, Fear of loss. There's a lot of um, loss um, that comes up when we start to um, move outside of what is familiar, what is comfortable. What are we going to lose? What if it doesn't work out? What if it's going to be difficult, right? And even the people that love us, they don't want us to go through difficulty. So, you know, there's that fear of, oh, she won't know what she's doing. She doesn't know what she's getting in for. What if it turns out badly? Um, what's going to happen? Even if it's going to turn out well, right? There's that fear of what's going to happen. What's that then going to mean? There's so much fear wrapped around change. And it's just this never ending loop of, of worry and concern. And no wonder then that we kind of kind of shrink back into the status quo. We shrink back into what's familiar. We go back to what we know already. However, there is in me at least this inner calling. Um, you could call it intuition. You could call it soul desire. You could call it a dream. You could call it a goal. I don't really care what you call it. Um, I just know it as something that's pulling me forward into what's possible. And it's that real deep desire to want to touch in on 
the awesomeness of life, right? And we've all had, I'm sure, these experiences when you've just been in a moment that was completely awesome, war inducing. And it's those experiences that really make you touch in on the, you know, the divinity of life, the, the awesomeness of life. It's incredible um, experience that we're all having as humans. And it's kind of wanting to, to live that experience in its most fullest, complete way. And yeah, my fear is the regret of like being so fearful that I don't move into those um, dreams or I let not just my own doubts and worries get in the way, but I allow the fears and doubts of everyone around me to get in the way. So, um, what's this got to do with yoga? <laughs> okay, so fear is one of the glaciers. Okay, so the glaciers are these obstacles that get in the way of us reaching these new heights, of us claiming our greatness, of us remembering who we are as part of this um, amazing experience called life. And um, it has a term, it's called abnervation. And this just basically encapsulates our fears and um, our clinging to the known, clinging to um, what's familiar, even when we know it's not serving us, even when we know it's keeping us contained, even when we know it's keeping us on this kind of hamster wheel of surviving rather than fry thriving. And you don't have to be a yogi, you don't have to be practicing yoga to understand that fear is really a, a massive obstacle to any kind of spiritual growth or personal growth, um, growth in your relationships, growth in your career, growth, you know, full stop. So let's start to think about, well, how do we move beyond our fears, okay? How do we start to understand that fear is um, part and parcel of the human experience? And sometimes we may need to lean into our fears in order to um, kind of scale those new heights that we, we long for on a very deep level. So how do we face these fears head on? This is where the wisdom of yoga comes in. There's also um, techniques, very um, practical techniques that we teach here at Yoga Local. Um, you'll be you'll be practicing whether you know it or not. Some weeks we kind of specifically focus on some of these teachings and wisdoms, making them more relatable. But I just wanted to give you um, five practical ways here today that will just get you a little bit more um cozy <laughs> with um change and um showing fear who's boss at the end of the day okay so first of all we need to um or well, the tradition tells us to recognize the impermanence of life of everything around us right the um the ever changing nature of our bodies um, you know, we move through seasons, um, not just the seasons in nature, we have our own seasons, starting youth into adulthood, moving into middle age and old age, like we're, we're shifting and we're changing all the time. Realizing that this is just the way it is, um, this too shall pass, as one of the, the teachings reminds us can start to help us to um, just remember the impermanence of life, which then will help us to practice gratitude, which is the second tip. If we can start to make gratitude part of our daily ritual, it can start to shift our perspective from, from dwelling on um, what might have gone, what we might have lost, to what's here and what's um, what we're doing now. I was in um, Starbucks earlier 
um, yeah, my guilty pleasure coffee. Um, and there were t there was two people, um, a man and a woman. I don't know what their relationship was with each other, but they were kind of standing close to each other. Um, and they're both like in the, you know waiting for their coffees to be served, and both of them in their phones. This is like you know a usual um, experience, I think, for most of us. And I think stood side by side, like both just aware of what's going on in their in their, in their screens in their phones not having any interaction with each other and and it just gave me that feeling of um you know it's normal right it's completely normal but like every day is not a given and when we can start to remember that like the impermanence of this moment the impermanence of you know there's no guarantee tomorrow is here so like we need to start to embrace um those moments where we have each other and we can be with each other and have gratitude it really does shift your perspective when you when you start to look at life from that lens um you know and, and not judging in any way but it was more for my own kind of recognition that you know cuz i'll i maybe do that too in fact I, I do do that too, right? Especially in when we're absent, absent-minded, when we're not aware. Um, so, and that's kind, of, you know, and that's what comes back to our practice of having that present moment awareness, so that we can start to choose how we, how we're moving through life. You know, are we going to be that person that appreciates the person standing next to us, and um, engaging with them and appreciating them? rather than just being so constantly fixed on our, our technology and our phones. It's those kind of things that are going to start to help us to like navigate life a little bit easier with a little less fear um, and a little bit more gratitude. So third one um, to think about is stepping out of your comfort zone let's shake things up a little bit you know change doesn't exist in uh, and transformation doesn't exist if we keep clinging to what we already know and even if there is a risk even if there is this fear that we're going to be rejected or made fun of or um, ostracized in some way then it's really important that we remember that it's in that change that we get to grow. It's in that change that we get to liberate ourselves from where we are to where we want to be. Okay, and we can we can stay where we where we are. We can hang out in the known and in the familiar. But for me, you know, then it kicks in that that fear, which I think is a healthy fear of not living. The, the life that was intended for me and not to have the experiences that I dreamed about because of the fear of um, what other people might think, what other people might say, the fear of being rejected, the fear of being ridiculed. You know, it's, those things are very real and can inhibit us massively. So learning to step out of the comfort zone is is hugely important, and we'll we can um, we can do that in practice. We do that by working on postures that maybe feel uncomfortable, um, by challenging feelings that feel uncomfortable. But ultimately, it's about finding some resilience in that. Um, in that pursuit of moving out of your comfort zone and knowing that you're 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 safe right you, knowing that you're safe and that you're moving to something that actually means so much more so instead of dreading endings the tradition reminds us that maybe we should embrace endings it's a really difficult one um like we do get incredibly attached to things, to objects, to people, to places, to experiences. So this is where we have to kind of appreciate them when they're there, recognize the impermanence, 
and so that that becomes more of a heightened experience and and allow that kind of growth and renewal to happen so not every friendship is going to be a friendship for life you know some friendships serve us and we move on um knowing that that was a, a season of that friendship okay um if we get too caught up in the in the pain of losing that relationship we cannot then create the space and growth for the next chapter okay and you know this is reflected in nature um i don't know if you if this kind of um you know it's crossed your mind but like i'm trying to i'm trying to be a better gardener <laughs> And it's one of those quests where you really have to um, appreciate the things in the moment, like things only bloom for, you know, a short amount of time. When they do, they're amazing, they're abundant and radiant. And, and then, you know, the leaves fall and, you know, and it's gone, it's over. So it's about, having that understanding that you know we're in we're in a season um at certain times sometimes we're um moving into a season of blooming sometimes we're in a season of of letting of letting go and when we start to embrace um that idea then we can get a little less attached to having to have something all the time um and resisting that change because it's in the resistance of the change that we feel uncomfortable okay and you know we cannot we cannot fight change we have to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable so finally um practicing mindfulness um so you can do this in everyday life as well. We we know obviously we're, this is, these are things practices that we really kind of work with as we practice being mindful, um, being present in our postures, so that we can better reflect on the state of our minds, seeing where the mind is moving to, how it's kind of contributing to our pursuit of growth, how it's getting in the way, um, but also. When we start to become more mindful, we can start to catch ourselves in the moments when we are dwelling too much on the past or we're worrying about the future. And we can start to get a little bit more centered when change happens, when it, because it will, right? We've established that change is part of um, the human experience. So becoming mindful, embracing change, having gratitude for the moment, recognizing that it could shift at any point. Um, these are all ways of um, overcoming um, overcoming our fear of, of change um, and leaning into what's possible. And it can be, an ex it's exciting, right? It's fresh, it's new, change is new growth, um, new energy. Um, there, there is this cycle that we go through, the, the cycle of um, taking in and letting go. Our breath represents that, right? We're taking in life and letting it go. So, whew. so fear of change, um, fear of endings, um, you know, fear of, of things dying, things um, becoming... Um, not part of our experience anymore. It's a very, very real fear, something that for sure we all wrestle with. We've all got our own, our own human journey to live and it's going to be a part of that. Things are going to fall away and things, fresh things are gonna come into our life. So just remember that it is the, embracing of the impermanence that leads to our growth that leads to our self-awareness and that leads to 
positive change, okay, and, and moving into what's possible for us and leaning into all that we can become and all that we are. So speaking of change and becoming all that we can be and all that we are, and there's lots happening here at Yoga Local. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't embraced a lot of fear and made a lot of decisions that may have like caused other people to worry and to to doubt and it's it's uh you know it's in i'm in that discomfort zone there's this kind of part of me that is excited and wants to shift and move things even beyond where they currently are and that means there is a, a certain amount of letting go in that. So there's change happening here um, over the next uh, couple of months. And Alison and I are working hard to um, to to get that um, to get that to you. But just know and just recognise that everything that we're doing here is is kind of leaning into to action that I feel is is right and right for this business, right for um, myself and Alison. But most of all, um, it's about it's something that I feel is right for the membership. We're about helping people to access the traditional teachings and wisdoms of yoga in a way that can help them to overcome their fears and move them towards what's possible for them to help you guys lean into your dreams right we need a healthy body we need a stable mind we need to understand what's getting in the way of the pursuit of our greatness and the yoga tradition is what um you know provides that um that wisdom and um, we're about bringing that to as many people as possible and um, because, you know, my feeling is that if we're all living our most purposeful life, working towards our greatness, bringing some good into the world, then, you know, that's going to have a huge ripple effect, which will impact everyone. It's not just an individual, um, it's not just an individual outcome. It's something that affects everyone. And, um, yeah, so I, I want you to, um, yeah, just understand that this is where it's coming from. It's coming from a place of integrity. We hope you're excited about it. We want to to do all we can to, to bring you to um, new heights of awareness, new heights of understanding, new heights of resilience, be less stressed, more capable, more your awesome, wonderful selves. Um, and, and that's what we're, we're hoping to bring with the, these changes that are coming up. So please keep in the loop. If you're not already um, subscribed to our uh, mailing list, then you can do that. There'll be some, um, there'll be a link in the show notes for you to just jump on that um, so that you can get first wind of what's going on. Um, yeah, and if you are already part of our membership, keep an eye out and um, it won't be long now before we share what's, what's happening. So um, be brave, guys. Uh, lean into those fears and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.